here we are at the Brooklyn 5G Summit 2016. I'm Ted Rappaport, founder and uh, founding director of NYU Wireless and your co-host for Brooklyn 5G Summit. Here we have the NXP Smarter World Tour. This is a remarkable triple-decker truck that is driven around the country showing off the Internet of Things and products that exist today and which are in development. Over 140 IoT products being made today that show you the future of 5G and the future of wireless. Let's go in. Good morning, everybody. Hi. We're, it's great to have NXP here. We're filming for IEEE TV in the Brooklyn 5G Summit. We want to give a quick tour. Can you give us a quick rundown? We'll go through the floor here. So here we, if you come in, you can see we have products weather stations, landscape irrigation. We have drones, UAV drones controlled, of course, by wireless. NXP has a number of products for cloud and software-defined network. Hi, Ted Rappaport with uh, NYU. Oh, hey. Very good <laughs> yeah, to see you, good Ian. Good how see are you? you? This good. is Ian Galloway. Hi, how are you? He's strategic marketing director <laughs> with That's NXP, it. and we're on with IEEE TV. Great. Tell us real quick about this NXP World Tour bus. Yeah, sure, it's, uh, it's the Smarter World Tour from NXP. We're the fourth largest semiconductor company in the world, and we're here showing how all these products that are, are made, uh, all these IoT product and vehicle to vehicle products are made using NXP product uh, technology inside semiconductor. What are some of the most exciting ones? Because we only have a couple of sure. minutes before we go live. Okay. Take us through. Okay, so, um, you know, we've got things, uh, drones are, ha are quite active today, so we've got chips that can drive all four electronic speed controllers in uh, a drone with lo lots of leftover processing horsepower, uh, accelerometers, gyros, and magnetometers that let you stay, um, you know, stay flying, stay stable. Uh, it's called sensor fusion. We have nine degrees of freedom. You have power sensors for the power utility industry, it looks like. Correct. Some of our microcontrollers are optimized for uh, metering, so they've got uh, high resolution uh, Delta Sigma A to D converters built in. We can do some interesting things. Because we're uh, number one in the e-ink driving industry, we've got IMX6 processors that can drive e-ink directly. So now you can build e-ink. What is e-ink? So e-ink is the same sort of thing that are used in those e-readers. Wow. It, it's a display that doesn't require any power to, to maintain the image. So because we can drive that directly, a, a, other uses outside of e-books would be sorry, digital signage that doesn't require any power. Now you can do some really amazing IoT uh, things like harvest energy and only change the sign when you need to. And that reduces the requirements of uh, batteries in a system. Fascinating. Yeah. Let's just quickly go down the list here. Here I can see we have, uh, for dr it looks like for driving or smart sure. car applications. We have, um, we have a couple of things. One is motor controls, right? So a lot of uh, systems are moving towards brushless DC motor control. We enable that and people get up and running very quickly. But again, with motors and vehicles is Vehicle to X communication, so there's an onboard unit and a roadside unit using 802.11p technology. So this is here today. Now, I know we're at the 5G summit and that's in the future, but today we have 802.11p that's starting to roll out the next model year in uh, many GM vehicles. And there's a Smart Cities Challenge along with the Department of Transportation that's ongoing that we're participating in as well. Ian, I want to thank you right. and NXP so much for coming. I'll give you a fist bump. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thank you. NXP, right. here we are with the, what's it called? The Smart, Smarter World Tour. Smarter World Tour bus at the Brooklyn 5G Summit 2016. Thank you.